Hey guys, Ryan from Caddy Disc Golf, and today we're talking about the brand new Evolution XO Link. The Link is the very first putter introduced in the Discmania Evolution lineup, and it comes in two different XO plastics. It comes in a soft and a hard. Both of the plastics are on the grippier side, except the soft putter has a little bit more give, so it's a little bit more squishy in the plate, and of course it'll beat in a little quicker than the hard plastic. Um, if you're not a fan of the extra give when gripping, then the hard's going to be kind of what you want, but if you do like that grip, or rather that give from a softer plastic, then the soft version of this disc is gonna be your go-to. This mania is saying that the link is the missing link, no pun intended, in the lineup for Disc Mania. This disc, as described by Disc Mania and many of the professionals sponsored by them that have thrown it or putted with it, say that it is the exact putter that has kind of been missing for a lot of their players. Essentially, it's a beaded P2. The difference is, is that it's just a little bit more shallow than a P2. If you're a fan of beaded putters, the P1X and the P3X were kind of the only options in the Discmania lineup. But now with this Evolution XO Link, you've got pretty much a beaded P2 at your hands. The numbers on the Link are 2301. So not super fast, but has a lot of glide and does have some fade. My experience in putting with this disc as well as throwing this disc, which there'll be some footage to come, is that it starts out probably a little bit more stable than a P2. Um, I don't know if it has anything to do with that bead or if it has anything to do with it being as shallow as it is or with the fact that it's actually a pretty flat putter, not quite p3x flat but it is pretty flat which is nice because it feels really good in the hands so i've uh, got a couple other discs along with me that i'm going to compare the link to for you guys real quick in comparison i have a d-line p3x i have a d-line p2 and then i have the discmania active putter the tiger warrior we'll start with the link as you can see pretty flat it has a pretty dominant bead, kind of like the P3X, and then the rim is pretty shallow. Very comparable to the P3X, not as shallow as the Tiger Warrior and not as deep as the P2. Next, I have a D-Line P2 here. Now, this P2 is pretty beat in, so you can see that it's kind of puddle topped, but it does have a little bit more dome. Not to mention, you can see the siding shape is relatively similar, maybe just a tad different near the bottom. The P2 has no bead, it's beadless, and it's definitely deeper than the Link is. Next, I have my D-Line P3X. The P3X is very flat, a little more flat than the Link which is nice, not to mention it's got a similar side shape, um, not as predominantly transitioning into the bottom of the rim. Very predominant bead. And then it is relatively shallow, especially compared to the P2. Very similar to the Link. Next and last, the Tiger Warrior. As you can see, pretty flat. I would say it's pretty much as flat as the Link. The siding is a little bit different as when it transitions to the bottom of the rim. Um, it's, it's got its own kind of unique shape. Still a good feel in the hands though. It has no bead. It is completely beadless, just like the P2. And it's definitely on the shallow side the most shallow out of all four of these discs. I would say as far as the shallowness of this disc, it fits right in between the P3X and the Tiger Warrior. 
as far as the bead goes very similar to the p3x and as far as the flight goes both when throwing and putting it is very similar to the p2 question is the link gonna make the bag and for the foreseeable future yes it is I have been putting with the D-line P3X and the Tiger Warriors throughout this year just trying to find a disc that really fits uh, what I'm looking for I've mentioned it before but I've got pretty small hands so the shallowness of the P3X and the Tiger Warrior were always something that I was attracted to as I put it with the P3X I found that I really liked the bead mainly for um, comfort when I'm inside the circle, I'm putting with my finger rested on the rim like that. But from outside of the circle, I rest my finger on the bead like that. And so I'm attracted to the link because it does have that bead. So I'm able to get that grip that I'm looking for in both jump putts and regular putts. But what I'm mostly excited for is the flight of the link. The P2's glide and stability makes it a really easy aim and shoot type putter. And so I'm really excited to have that back and I'm looking forward to seeing how it reinvents my game and how it transforms my putt in the future. So there you have it, the Discmania Evolution XO Soft Link. If you liked this video, do the thing where you like it and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or any concerns, feel free to drop them in the comments. I'll be sure to respond. And if you end up picking this disc up, let me know what you think about it in the future. Thanks. Talk to you later.